make sure you have some diagnostics. So make sure you have run your analysis. I'm going to use my suppressions against line 36. I have three violations and I'm going to use a comment based suppression to start with one message. I'll go for 0752. So on that line, I'll start with a comment. Open comment. PRQA. S for suppression and I'm going for message 0752. Hashtag I am deviating. So this could be any string for your justification. Close the comment based suppression. Save. Clean the diagnostics you had before. Run analysis. And on the active diagnostics, there's one less active issue to focus on because I have applied suppression for one message. On the drop down, you can show comment suppressed diagnostics. So if I scroll to it, I would see that highlighted in a different color. Also, you can suppress this message from this line up to the end of file. So it would find every instance of message 0752 and suppress it. So all I need to do there is add E O F end of file. Save the new changes. Clean. Run analysis. And I find that there were more messages that has been suppressed. If you need to suppress all of the messages on this line, all you need to do is replace with all. Of course, you can suppress all of the messages up until the end of file. Click Save, Clean, and run a fresh analysis. Close, and it has found even more messages to suppress. There are different suppressions which we have covered in our component manual, continuous suppressions, and more. But I've only shown a single line comment based suppression. And of course, I've also added up until the end of file.